Hey guys, Justin here of Fugitech, and the X50 is the most affordable model in Vivo's latest X50 series. There's nothing too fancy in it like insane video stabilization and 5G connectivity that's found in the Pro version, but this standard one packs more than what to expect in a premium mid-range phone. Wanna know why? Keep on watching. So our first top feature is something you'll appreciate right away, and that is its design. The X50 is an attractive phone indeed with its glass back and reflective mirror gradient design. The unit we have is in the glaze black color, and I like that it has that flush of blue and silver when moved or whenever it hits the light. You'll find here its vertically aligned quad rear camera module with the LED flash and color temperature beside it. I must say, its camera bump managed to look slim and thin compared to other smartphones we've seen. And that's really nice to see. Moving on to our second top feature, of course we have to talk about its display. Now the X50 may not have a curved screen just like the X50 Pro, but we get the same vibrant and sharp AMOLED quality with a resolution of 2376 by 1080 pixels and a pixel density of 398 pixels per inch. We really enjoy watching movies, scrolling around, and even playing games on this one, especially with its 90Hz refresh rate display. As you can see, we get punchy colors and deep blacks, and keeping the display in standard mode already looks vivid, but you can change it to bright mode in the settings to make it look more vibrant. The viewing experience gets even better with its audio quality. The X50's down-firing loudspeaker is pretty great considering it's a mid-range phone. It's ideal for casual use in gaming and turning the volume to max doesn't sound too teeny. Since there's no 3.5mm audio port in sight, you can take advantage of the included headphone jack to USB Type-C adapter in the package together with some regular earphones the company supplied out of the box. The next thing I want to talk about is its battery. Keeping this phone running is a sizable 4200mAh battery with 33W Vivo Flash Charge 2.0, which is fast and can charge the device for more or less an hour. Moreover, we ran it through our standard video loop test where we keep a 1080p movie on loop with 50% brightness, 0% volume, and airplane mode turned on, and the X50 lasted for 20 hours and 15 minutes. Well, that should be enough for a day or even more if you're not a heavy user. Alright, our last but definitely not the least top feature is its impressive cameras. As I've said earlier, the Vivo X50 has a quad rear camera setup and these lenses plus its camera hardware are loaded with features and superb capabilities. Its main camera is a 48 megapixel Sony IMX598 lens and we all probably know by now that maximizing this will provide extra high quality photos with sharp details and accurate color reproduction. Its Sony IMX598 sensor also has improved light sensitivity, so we get great looking night shots. Now, its second camera is an 8 megapixel super wide angle lens for, well, wide angle photos. But Vivo's 120 degrees super wide angle mode has always been on top in giving wider coverage compared to other phones with this feature. And I like that it doesn't give much of a fish eye effect too. The third lens is a 13 megapixel portrait camera that's modeled after a professional 50 millimeter prime lens. Together with Vivo's subject background algorithm, we get clean and professional looking subject background separation outputs for portrait shots. This lens will also allow you to digitally zoom in up to 20 times, so even at max zoom, we can still see clear details. The last lens is a 5 megapixel macro camera, and having this can be really handy if you're into macro photography or if you simply want to explore it. With a 1.5cm focus distance, this will give you nice clarity and some pro quality magnification. As for selfies, the X50 packs a 32 megapixel front shooter, and as you can see, using it provides bright and well detailed portraits. You can also play around its quirky camera app features such as built-in filters, adjustable bokeh effects, and beauty mode. When it comes to videos, you can shoot up to 4K at 60 frames per second with EIS and we appreciate how you can use the super wide angle lens with it. Using the standard video size allows you to toggle from normal to 2 times zoom in one shot. Quality-wise, videos on the X50 has really good stabilization and quick focusing. It may not be as good as the Pro version in this department, but this should be good enough for vlogging or other video needs on the go. And that's about it, guys. 
Surely the Vivo X50 is one smartphone to be taken seriously too with its loaded features. Share to us what you think about it in the comments and if you're interested in buying one. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yucatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.